Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS Quick Start Series. Did you know that you can enrich and expand the capabilities of VMware Cloud on AWS by integrating your software-defined data center with native AWS services? I'm Eric Gray from VMware, and in this video, you'll see how to create a VPC endpoint in order to enable a direct connection to S3 object storage. If your applications store and retrieve data from Amazon S3, you can create a VPC gateway endpoint that provides a direct connection from your VMware Cloud on AWS Software Defined Data Center. While it is possible to access S3 over the internet, setting up a direct path through an endpoint is better because it routes traffic over a secure and reliable connection that doesn't require an internet gateway or NAT. In a previous video, we showed how to create a VPC and subnet that connects to your VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC. Once that step is complete, it's easy to add an S3 endpoint. To get started, log into the AWS console and navigate to the VPC dashboard. Click on Endpoints and then on Create Endpoint. To quickly find and select the correct service, search for S3 and verify that the region matches that of your VPC and VMware SDDC. Next, select the VPC that's connected to your SDDC and check the box next to the route table that's associated with that VPC. When selecting the policy that controls access, you may need to consult with your security administrator to determine whether you require a custom policy or full access, depending on business requirements. Finally, click Create Endpoint to finish. Once the VPC endpoint is created, you may need to create or modify the policies for your S3 buckets in order to permit access. For more information on bucket policies, see the AWS documentation. When the configurations are complete, you can test your applications to verify expected access to S3 object storage from your SDDC network segments. Integrating your VMware Cloud on AWS infrastructure with AWS native services is a very powerful capability and may be beneficial if your applications or data protection solutions use S3 to store data. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.